This is where we are. Robin's light is in the present position of the sun. The Earth is turning slowly in this direction. Therefore, our problem is how to reflect this beam of sunlight in such a way as to direct it to the dark side. If Superman were to carry a huge reflector into space, just about here. Wendy, do you have a pocket mirror? Sure, Batman. It's one of those magnifying mirrors. Perfect. Thank you. At this point in space, Superman could catch the sunlight and redirect it downward toward Earth's dark side. Like this. As you can see, we can't light the entire dark side at once, but Superman can move the beam back and forth until it clears the air of Shamanite. Is it agreed? It's well worth a try. I'll contact Superman immediately. Moments later, in the mountaintop laboratory, where Dr. Shaman is dismantling his sky mining instruments, the doctor receives an unexpected visitor. Superman! Now look, I'm not going to do any more sky mining. Excellent. Dr. Shaman, I've come to ask a favor of you. Anything! Anything! I've caused trouble out there, and I want to help if I possibly can. You have, and you can. I'd like to borrow the reflecting mirror in your telescope for just one hour. Why, yes! Thank you, Dr. Shaman. Up, up, and away! Reaching the designated position in space, the Man of Steel glances down at the tiny blue sphere known as Earth, then up at the distant sun. Good old Mother Earth. Well, let's throw a little light on the subject. Goodbye, Shamanite. Far below in the African jungle, the tiny giraffe begins growing back to normal height. Beneath the ocean surface, the giant lobster shrinks to its proper length and swims happily away. Throughout the night, Superman's reflected ray of sunshine returns the animals and the plants to their natural state. At the Hall of the Justice League, a group peers expectantly into the night. He's right. Here comes the daylight ray. Zonkers. That's really something else. Yeah, like an eclipse, but in reverse. The daylight ray. It's bringing him back to normal size. <laughs> Poor Wonder. I guess he really enjoyed being as big as an elephant. No use fighting it, Wonder. You're going back from pachyderm to pooch. Pachyderm? The whale. Huh? The whale? Great places. That tiny whale is in the center of the lab. Not too close to the windows, but if the daylight ray got to him, excuse me. Batman, look, it's shrinking. Never mind the orange, the whale. Oh my, it's been shielded by that clamshell and did not receive the full effect of the daylight ray. Yes, it's growing back rather slowly now, but within the next 60 seconds... In 60 seconds, it'll break the walls down. Clear the way. Stand back, everyone. Stand back. In a few seconds, there'll be no room out there. Robin, block off all traffic on this street. Captain, I'm afraid a tractor isn't the answer. If you tow it away, you'll hurt the poor thing. Look, Daddy, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Superman. I'd say you have a whale of a problem here. But don't worry, Captain, I'll take care of it. All right, big boy, it's back to the deep blue for you. With muscles of steel, Superman lifts the gigantic whale and transports it back to its home in the sea. <laughs> 